Hey everybody, welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today, real quick video, I wanna go over this Ancel battery tester, show off what it does and why you should get one for yourself. Anytime you're having a problem with a car, no matter what it is, almost always you should be checking the battery, starting with that first. And we'll go over that more in just a moment. Before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like if you enjoy this type of content. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports. We do giveaways, things like that. All you have to do is be following us on Instagram. So this right here, is a battery tester and just like what the name states is it tests your battery if you're having issues with misfires if you're having issues with long cranks no crank no start crank no start headlight issue bulb issues turn signal issues there's so many things that can go back that can basically trace back to a battery that's giving you issues and then obviously if it's not your battery you can check your alternator and this will actually tell you if your alternator is having issues as well so we'll get this unboxed real quick go over the car show how it works and as always everything that we showed today will be linked in the description below Okay, quick unboxing, there's not a lot to this. As you can see, it's pretty small. Looks like we got a USB cable. The actual tester itself, which is permanently attached to some alligator clips, positive and negative. And then uh, here's the user's manual. Now, of course I love reading, but in order to run this through a test. I'm just going to put it on the car and start showing you how easy it is to use. One thing I did see on the back of the box, which is kind of cool, is that you can actually use this to plug into the computer and get a printout of the results of your battery test, which is kind of cool. So yeah, that's, that's always nice, especially if you're a mechanic working for a customer or something like that, it's nice to have a printout. So let's get this hooked up to the car real quick and just see how easy this thing is to use. Here we are in the back of my wife's car. This is a BMW, so the batteries are gonna be in the back. You definitely wanna make sure that you're on the battery itself. If you have jump posts and things like that up in the engine bay, you don't wanna be using those, you wanna be on the battery itself. So as soon as we put it on, this booted up. Let me, make sh let me see if we can get this to actually show what it's saying. It says here at the top, quick test. Uh, if you're just trying to see what your battery's up to, um, we're just gonna do, so that's number one. We're gonna try that first, so enter. And it says testing. Okay, and then here we are. Healthy, 100%, charge 20%, which is 12.13 volts, rated at 240, good recharge. I was doing a video in this car the other day, so the battery might be a little bit low because I had the interior lights on for quite a while. So let's go here to exit, go down here to battery in vehicle. So let's go and look at this. Battery test, which is very similar to what we just did. Cranking test and charging test. So actually, um, Let's do a cranking test real quick. So uh, let's see, enter, it says start engine. So I'm gonna go start the engine real quick and uh, we'll see how well that goes. Okay, so I started the car, let it run for just a couple seconds, came back here and it gave us a result. So time, 520 milliseconds, cranking normal, 9.98 volts. So I'll be honest, I don't know what voltage it's supposed to be sitting at when it's cranking, but car started right up. I was worried that it was gonna throw this off because this car, uh, being a race car, has a fuel cell and so the fuel pump is separate and so it uses electricity slightly different to start the car than, than just a standard vehicle. So that's cool. Um, looks like cranking normal. So let's go back out here to uh, battery in vehicle charging test. This one actually um, needs you to like rev and run the car for a while. This is really loud and I don't want to just sit here and rev it in the garage. And I have to work in the garage so it's going to be really stinky in here if I do that. But uh, basically all you would do, it says here, increase to 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs, keep it there for five seconds, press enter to continue. It'd be a little bit difficult for me to do that because I think you have to press enter while you're back here, while you know, while it's on the truck. So you'd be revving it and then press enter while you're doing it. Um, so I obviously I can't do that because I would have to 
you basically have a second person, but that's not ab abnormal to have somebody helping you out. So there's add a vehicle. You know what? Actually, I've got a battery because we and we got a camper and uh, there's some batteries underneath it and they've been sitting there for like five or seven years. So let's see what this uh, tool thinks of those batteries. Let me go grab one of those real quick. So I just grabbed this battery from a really old trailer that we recently got. And uh, this, as far as I know, has not been used for five years. So let's just see here. The battery looks to be in good condition. It's not leaking or anything, it's not swollen. So let's see if this even boots up. Yep, there you go. Completely dead. So there are options on here to test the battery outside the vehicle. Um, you definitely wanna make sure that if it's out of the vehicle, you're testing it like that because it is not gonna have the same, because everything's all hooked up to it. There will be power draws and things like that. If you're needing to know exactly what your battery's doing, you wanna make sure that if it's in the vehicle, you select in the vehicle. If it's out of the vehicle, you select out of the vehicle. Let's go back over to the car, see what other functions this have, and we'll wrap this video up. All right, back in the car and all hooked up. I was trying to do some research on number four waveform. I don't know what that does, but apparently it does have the capability of doing a waveform test. And then if you go here to review data, you can go back and see some of the other tests that we had done. You can print the data. That's what I was saying with the USB port here. And then down here is your system setup. So this would be like language. You can actually change some of the screen settings and then the tool information, what uh, version, um, software version and stuff it is on right now. Very cool little tool, definitely worth it. This is something that is a must when you're working on cars. Like I said, where these cars have so many electrical things, it could all be traced back to a battery. You're trying to figure out what's wrong with your turn signal relay and turns out your battery is just low. I would start with your battery every single time, no matter what the issue is. And something like this could help you do that without having to take the car somewhere. This especially helps where, uh, where we're like, we're building cars on our channel here, a lot of race cars and things are not always running. You can't always just jump over to an auto parts store and have them test your battery because you've got things torn apart. And if you're getting no crank, no start or crank, no start, oftentimes you can't get over to an auto parts store even if you wanted to. So thanks everybody so much for watching comments or questions down in the comment section below. This little tool is awesome. You'll be seeing it more on the channel, I promise. I come into issues like this all the time and I'm gonna start with this. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Bam!